statement we have to do. So taking the compiler. Now you all are going to tell me what all things are required. So first one we'll create a what are we supposed to do? Create inventory of books and author. Yeah, we have to create the inventory of books and author. But how do we do that in the program? What is the first okay. thing we do? Create a class. Yeah. So book. Okay. Bookshop. I'm just writing. Or you can write it here. And I'm creating a class. Followed by a semicolon. Kya hua? Okay. Then what are the data members they said? What are the data members required? Author, title, price, publisher, and stock position. Okay. So what will be the data type of the author? Say character, author, author name. Okay, then title then publisher. These are all going to be a set of characters or strings, right? Then what else they said? Price and stock position. Price kya hoga? Suppose float and stock. Stock ke liye kya hoga? Data type can somebody tell me? Huh? Int. Int. Okay. So these are going to be my data members. Fine. Next. Is me kya kya abola hai? Okay, I'll use a constructor now. If you want, you can initialize all this uh, stuff. It's not necessary, but if you want, you can initialize uh, here. So since it is string, you have to use strcpy. The and I'm initializing it with an empty string. So like this, you can initialize your attributes. It's not necessary, but the problem statement said use constructors. So just to satisfy that, we are using some kind of statement so here we are initializing everything with an empty string publisher now price is float and stock is zero so this is a 
डिफॉल्ट कंस्ट्रक्टर फाइन सो अ कंस्ट्रक्टर इज डन नाउ आई नीड अ फंक्शन सो द फंक्शन दे आर सेंग इज वॉट searching for a book and calculating the price is there so we can write say i'm just for right now i'm just write uh, writing it down generally and further on we can make changes okay search and i need to compute cost so cost. These are the two functions I need. So these are my member functions. Okay. So far, any doubts? Is it clear? yes ma'am ma'am can you explain that uh, a string copy wala part string copy matlab ye aise hai like you uh, integer mein aur ya float mein kaise hai zero equal matlab price equal to 0.0 ka matlab kya hai zero is getting initial uh, copy to price but string mein hum author equal nahi dal sakte uske liye is pop uh, ye jo function hai na use karna padega so this is an inbuilt function strcpy which comes under the header string dot h so what does this mean the second string is getting copied to the first string what is the second string an empty string that means author is right now initialized to an empty string okay yes okay fine so i abhi this uh, search and compute is not actually uh, finalized we'll first <laughs> look at the main function how the user is going to com uh, communicate and then we will expand the search function okay so uh, here first one what i need is the first thing is maintains inventory of books that has been sold so in inventory of books maintain karne ke liye pehle store to karna padega so i have to store values into the inventory so for that i need a function say right get inventory okay so i'm writing a function called get inventory so that i can accept the data that has to be stored for that represents the inventory so in that what will i do i will write void get inventory now it is written outside the class so bookshop scope resolution operator function i am writing c out so for in for storing inventory okay this is for storing inventory i am writing this particular function what will i do i'll first write enter the book name right so that is the first thing so end l semicolon c in the book name is given as or it's not the book name it's the author name okay or enter the author so i'll accept the author and then then what else i have to do i have to accept the title of the book
then I need the publisher. Then I need the cost or price of the book. Then I need the stock position. Itna samaj mein aaya. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So inventory is there. Now I have to display the inventory also. So I need another function. Uh, display. So for display inventory again, I have to write it up. I have to expand it void. Shop. Play. And what all I'll display first. <clears throat> the book details and L out author and C out. Title and see out publisher. See out nice see out Details, book details, me it nai kafi hai bas. Author, title, price. Theek hai? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, for that, okay. So we have done the main part. So let me create objects for that. Search and uh, this one display calculate cost I will do seek as I go on with the code so let me create object say now I need a <coughs> shop me a book to nahi hoga na yes um there will be uh, only one book or yeah. one book? no and you don't know how many books you are going to store. So you have to create pointers. So here pointer variable of type class. Fine. And now 
you are going to ask the user how many books you want to store the number of number of books you want to store so that i will write c out enter the number of books to be stored and c in you want to put number of books so that is ready now with that i am going to create book is equal to new what is the syntax book equal to new i want to create that many locations so book equal to we did it today yes are you all there in the session yes ma'am ha to kya kaise abhi pointer create kiya mujhe बुक स्टोर करना है तो उतना मेमोरी रिजर्व करना है तो क्या करेंगे बुक इक्वल टू हाउ डू यू यूज द न्यू ऑपरेटर वी जस्ट लर्न टुडे स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट बट बिफोर न्यू व्हाट यू डू आफ्टर न्यू बुक इक्वल टू डेटा टाइप बुक शॉप सो द डेटा टाइप इज गोइंग टू बी द क्लास नेम सो बुक शॉप एंड इनसाइड द स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट आई एम गोइंग टू राइट number of books so this shows how, see uh, shows that how much you have paid attention attention in the last session so this is dynamically memory allocation as per the user input so as per the user input we are allocating that much of uh, memory dynamically so this is the syntax book new operator using new operator operator so book equal to new bookshop inside square bracket the number of books now i will write a for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than i plus plus book of i dot get inventory so i'm calling the get inventory function here that means storing okay so that, that is done now once you store the inventory what they are asking okay uh that is the customer wants a book the sales person inputs the title and author and the system searches the list and displays whether it is available or not so that is what we have to do next so the customer will ask for the book so again i will write enter the author and title of the book required so now this customer is asking which book do you want so i have to see in author and title 
So for seeing in author and title, I have to declare here author. Okay, I will, okay, author and title. Okay, so here, customer is asking for a particular book. Okay, so that is done. Then what else? Now, once this is done, I have to search whether that particular book is available or not. So for that, for because I have to search within an array, I have to use a for loop again for int i equal to zero, i less than the number of books, i plus plus. I have to search whether the particular book is there. Search function may kya search karenge author and title se search karenge so author and title. So again, if I'm passing author and title as the uh, parameters, I have to update the search here. So the A and character, uh, yeah, character T. Fine, so I'm, I have, I'm passing author and title. So in the function call, author and title is passed for search. So it is searching and now I will write my search function because I got an idea how it has to be done. So the search function I will write it just below here. So void search and I'm getting two characters, author and title. By that, when the author and title comes here, I have to search whether it is equal to the particular. So, book of I matlab kya hai? Abhi, suppose I have five books. So, book of zero is going to be the first book. So, First book ka author, abhi kaise hai? This author and title given inside the bracket is the author and title which the customer wants. And this book is what is available in the inventory. Theke? So when I'm giving this author and title along with this book of I, the author and title what the customer gave is going to be checked with the author and title of this book. So, kaise checking ke liye, you are going to use something called st string compare. So, string compare is a uh, comparison, uh, you know, it is used for comparing two strings and if the two strings are equal, it will return a zero. If it is not equal, it will return a one. Okay. So, you're comparing two strings. What are you comparing? If A and author of the book, A is what is coming from the user and author is the book's author, is equal to equal to zero. So, you will write if. You need to, and both should be similar. So, strcmp title, and 
title of the book, the title which the customer gave and the title of the book, if it is similar. So we are checking these two. Huh? It's a little complicated program. Please pay attention. Jahan pe samaj mein nahi aare, poocho. Okay, so if both are same, that means the book is found. Okay, so if it is same, see out the book is and L. And if the book is available, you have to call the display function. Yes, you will call the display function of this particular book. Or uh, if you want, you can, yes. Break out of the statement. And if I want, I can just use a flag here. Zero, comma. So if the book is available, I will give the flag as one. See, everybody's logic is going to be different. Okay. So here, Again, found equal to zero. So I can write here found equal to and instead of int, I am returning int. So flag. Club agar book available hai. So checking. Or you can say comparing, comparing author and title. Okay. And if it is true, will return one if book is found. Else it will return a zero. So it will come here. Whatever found is here. So if found is equal to equal to one, because if it is found, the found should become equal to. If the book is found, then I should print C out. Book is available. And I have to display the book details. So B of I dot display. This will only happen if the book is available. Okay. Else. What will you do? Else kya hoga? See out. The book is not available. You can just write, sorry. Not available. Itna samaj mein aaya kya? Is it clear? Searching of the books, how it is done? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Kuch doubts hai. If abhi tak kuch doubts hai, to please ask. Ma'am? Hmm? Actually, variables का एक बार बता दूँ। Pointer variable. Pointer variable. Pointer variable आज लिया है ना? 
क्लास में नहीं था वॉट इज योर नेम तो पॉइंटर वेरिएबल को कौन बता सकते हैं वॉट इज अ पॉइंटर वेरिएबल पॉइंटर्स चाहिए <coughs> so you, which will help you to dynamically allocate your objects uh, so how it is done you uh, create a pointer uh, a book called uh, name of the pointer is book and then you ask the user to enter the number of books you want to store and based on the number of books you are going to create Uh, that much memory location. So syntax kya hai? Book equal to new bookshop. Bookshop is your class name. Why? Because a har ek book is going to be an object of your bookshop. So uh, you are going to create that many locations of type bookshop. So new bookshop in square bracket you will give the number of books, and then based on the number of books. You you are going to put it in a loop and you are going to call get inventory function, which is going to ask the user to enter the title, publisher, price, stock position. So that in that way you are storing data or storing inventory based on the number of books. फिर उसके बाद problem statement क्या बोलते कि customer will ask for a particular book. so the customer is going to give the author name and the title so it is accepting the author name and title from the customer and then again a loop has to be open now why are we using loop because we have to access each memory location of that particular uh, you know book array so uh, for that we are using a for loop and inside the for loop for each book your it's like you're taking each book and you're searching whether it is that author and that title which the customer gave so har ek book ko access karne ke liye book of i dot search function ko call kar rahe aur author and title is the input given by the user and inside the search function what is happening uh, we are comparing whether the author and title which the user gave is equal to the author and title of that particular book agar zero agar uh, zero hai matlab uh, break is not required here okay so agar zero hai dono values agar zero and operator use kiya matlab agar dono values zero hai to you are going to print the book is available and you are going to set a indicator that the book is available and you are going to return that indicator here theek hai we have already done the printing statement so you need not do it once again and if the book if the returned value is 1 then you will display the book details return value 1 hai matlab kya hai yahan pe flag equal to 1 matlab book available hai तो बुक अवेलेबल है तो वो पर्टिकुलर बुक का डिटेल्स डिस्प्ले करो सो वी हैव रिटर्न अ डिस्प्ले फंक्शन व्हिच विल प्रिंट द ऑर्डर टाइटल पब्लिशर एंड प्राइस ऑफ द बुक सो इतना अगर फाउंड इक्वल टू वन नहीं है तो मतलब द बुक इज नॉट अवेलेबल सो यू आर प्रिंटिंग द स्टेटमेंट सॉरी द बुक इज नॉट अवेलेबल इतना समझ में आया क्या अभी समझ में आया क्या yes, what about others yes ma'am hmm? now uh, as per the uh, question if the system displays the book uh, then the system displays the book details and request for the number of copies required and if the requested copies um, are available then he has to print the price else a message has to be printed so if the book is available we have displayed the details of the book so book details is 
displayed and after book details is displayed you have to ask the customer enter the number of copies टाइपिंग में मिस्टेक्स आ रहे प्लीज लेट मी नो बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग ऑन टाइपिंग विदाउट चेकिंग सो सी एन आई हैव टू एंटर द कॉपीज काउंट सो आई डिक्लेयर इट हि सो आई एम आस्किंग द यूजर हाउ मेनी कॉपीज यू वॉन्ट एंड the number of copies okay so the uh, number of copies is accepted and once the number of copies is accepted i have to calculate the cost so now i will write b of i sorry book of i and i have to call the function called Okay, here I changed it to int. Okay, I have to call the function called compute cost. So compute cost function call करेंगे and उसमें copies pass करेंगे. Okay, so that means i'm going to check whether the copies are available and print cost okay so i'm going to compute cost here so i'm going to come here i have to write the function here now so void again bookshop class name scope resolution operator compute cost inside i'm passing int copies or i can say int c and here the function declaration again i have to write int c because copies are going to come here so copies will come here now i'll check if the stock available if the stock available is lesser than or equal to the number of copies requested by the user will print uh, copies are available and you will calculate the price so i will declare float total and total price is equal to price of each book into the number of copies asked by the user so here you are computing the cost total cost here you are checking if the copies asked is lesser than or equal to the available stock okay so total price is calculated and then you print here price to be 
paid is total price. Okay, else what happens? Else I will write C out. Sorry, the copies required are not available. Understood? Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, line 70 pe aapne end likha. End el on a shi. 70, 70. 70, haan. Thik hai. Thank you. Okay. So now let's trace the code again. Once again, I'll explain. So we have created a class. bookshop which contains author title publisher price and stock so i'm just tra tracing my program according to the problem statement so I've created a class bookshop which contains author, title, publisher, and price. So accordingly, I have declared the data members and a constructor is also been written where the object is created and I'm initializing the author, title, publisher, and price and the stock accordingly. And what is STR CPY used for? <coughs> To assign strings or character. Uh, Initialize or character. Yeah. str2 to str1. What is str or string 2 to string 1? Okay. So you're copying the empty uh, string to author. You're initializing the author, title, and publisher here. Then we have four member functions, one for searching, one for computing the cost, one to get the inventory and one to display. Now uh, we'll go back to the main program. I hope I've closed the class here. Class ends here. Okay. And yes, we'll go to the main program and we'll check. So in the main program, a pointer uh, is created uh, of type bookshop, then the number of books, then to check whether uh, the book is found or not for that one variable and the number of copies. So that has been declared, then author and title KLEA B because the customer is going to ask for a particular book based on author and title. Fair, uh, you ask the uh, user enter the number of books to be stored in the inventory. So the number of books is accepted and then uh, it is created dynamically book equal to using new operator bookshop is the class name number of books inside square bracket. So this is the syntax and since it is an array you have to access each index of the array. So for that we are using a for loop and you're calling the book uh, in get inventory function for storing the inventory so book of i dot get inventory then uh, so get inventory you can see here uh, inside the inventory function you are entering the author name the title name the publisher the price and the stock position in the get inventory function okay so that is done then once the inventory is stored, then your, the customer tells that I want this particular book that is author and title of the book is given and it is accepted. And then in, un, inside each or you're taking each index of the book and checking whether it is equal to the author and title given by the user. So, wo function search function mein jate hain. 
search function where is my search function okay search function the author and title comes here and it is comparing whether the title uh, author is equal to the book's author and title is equal to the book's title which the customer gave and if it is both are equal then the book is available and the flag will be set to 1 and we will return the flag else the flag will be zero itself so when it comes back here if the found is equal to equal to 1 that means if the flag returned here comes in line number 86 because function call is here and if the book returned is or if found is equal to 1 that means the book is available then display the book details so book detail is displayed by calling the display function and then you ask the user to enter the number of copies required and the copies are entered and then you call the compute cost function of that particular book so the compute cost function comes here you check whether the copies requested by the user is less than or equal to the stock available if it is less than or equal to the stock available you will print copies are available you will calculate the price of the book and you will print the total price else you will print sorry the copies required are not available now if found was e not equal to 1 then it will print sorry the book is not available samajh mein aaya is it clear yes is it clear to everybody yes students are you all there yes ma'am samajh mein aaya kuch doubt hai koi line samajh mein nahi aaya pooch sakte hain all okay ma'am apne pehle kaun sa file include kiya tha कौन से फाइल स्ट्रिंग डॉट एच ओके वो क्या है एस टी आर सी एम पी एंड एस टी आर सी पी आई के लिए लगेगा स्ट्रिंग कॉपी और स्ट्रिंग कंपेयर के लिए ठीक है यस इज इट क्लियर यस मैम अभी रन करके देखते हैं अगर कुछ एरर्स है तो ऑथर वॉज नॉट डिक्लेयर्ड इन दिस स्कोप वाई इज इट नॉट इन search right where is my search function okay yeah search function kahan pe likha maine ha yeah search function mein yahan pe book shop scope resolution operator okay fine so it's asking me how how many books i want suppose i'm just storing two books because i don't want to enter so many data data okay. so two objects are created now it's asking me to enter the author name so say bala title ob and publisher some publisher publisher let the price be 650 and number of stock position be 10 then again it's asking for the second book name mm, like let it be some richard okay and then title cpp and uh, publisher again some cpp publisher let it be 
and uh, price let me put it as 538 okay and stock position say 6 now see so the stock inventory two books have been entered uh, two books now the customer is asking for a particular book okay so i am just randomly giving some book name and some publisher so you can see the book is not available aya is it clear yes yes ma'am now suppose i run the code again now you can make it customize it okay you can put it in a loop and all fine for right now i am not doing anything you all can modify your code so again i am entering some book same books i'll just enter stock position 10 some rush kp Stock position six. So it's asking me for a particular book. Okay. And the author, now I'll enter what is there in this particular uh, database. So let me see if the spelling and all should be same. Huh? It's as asking for the author and the title. So you can see. Okay. It's, yeah. In the first case, the book is not available. Matla print statement thoda correct karna padega mujhe. Now the book is available. The book details are given. Krish CP KP 543. So it is available. Now it's asking me for the number of copies required. If I say 5. Okay. The book. Something went wrong, right? We enter the number of copies required. 5 kia. So sorry, the copies enter are not there. How many copies were there? Six, right? So the code may kuch to gadbad hai. Stock. Not stock should not be less. It should be greater than or equal to. Right? Greater than or equal to C. And kai or pe bhi kuch to tha. Okay. Mm, this I will just book is available. And else I'll write it here. No. It's available. I'll write the else part down. out of the loop not equal to one out ticket okay. thoda modify kiya because it's not giving as per my requirement okay now let's execute the code and see Okay, again, it's asking me for the number of books. Three objects created. 
So you enter the name, title, publisher name, price, number of copies. So one book is entered. Another book they are asking me, author, English, CPP, publisher, KP, price 459, stock positions is 6. One more book I have to enter. There was some random name, title, C program, and publisher something, and price top position say 12. So yes, the stock inventory is entered. Then what else? The author name and title. So I'm giving Krish and CPP. Now you can see it is printing. The book is available and the book details are also printed. Now I give my required copies as three and you can see the number required copies are available and price to be paid 1377 is being printed. Is it clear now? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Any doubts? Have you all understood the code? You all can just go through the code. Kuch doubt hai to poocho. Each line. So STR CMP kya hai? Can somebody tell me? String comparison. Okay, string comparison. What is it comparing? It will compare the author name we have given to compiler. Yeah, so it will compare the author name and title and the with along uh, with the book. Okay, if it is equal to zero, zero ka matlab, agar equal hai to kya return karenge? STR string. Agar do string equal hai, to zero return karenge. Agar do string equal nahi hai, to zero return karenge. Okay? Fine, that is why we are checking equal to equal to zero or Fine. And what is the AND operator? AND operator kis liye use karte hai? What is the meaning or usage of AND operator here? When both conditions are true. Yeah, when both the condition becomes true, then only this particular thing will be executed. Fine. TK. Then, what is this function doing? Can somebody explain this function? Compute cost mein kya ho raha hai? Total price calculate. Yes, total price calculate. But how uh, calculate kar rahe? Uh, Only if the stock is greater than the number of copies required. Yeah, only if the stock is greater than the number of copies required. Can it uh, print the total copy? Okay. 